What we're doing today is I have two Outbreak Perfected rolls I'm gonna be testing. Um, they're slightly different in the sense that the main things I'm gonna be comparing is Rapid Hit and Head Seeker. However, I also, knowing I'm using these two different perks, I also optimized how I crafted it based on the perk I chose. So for Outbreak Perfected with Rapid Hit, which is the first one we're gonna be testing, uh, I really focused on maximizing the range uh, and taking a little hit of stability, knowing that with Rapid Hit, I'm gonna get that boost to stability back. So it kind of offsets any loss to stability I might get. So really focused on going with full bore and maxing out that range, uh, as well as, uh, again, just sticking with accurized rounds. On both of these rolls, I did stick with fitted stock. Uh, which I feel like is just the best stock in my opinion due to the increased stability, uh, the recoil control, making the recoil direction 100. Uh, I think all that is great. So that's why I kept all that there. Um, and then for our head seeker roll, uh, I did hammer forge, so a little bit less range, a little bit higher stability since I don't have rapid hit. Uh, and so that's what's really gonna help out there. But same mag, same stock. So just slightly different rolls, one with more range on the rapid hit roll. As you can see here, we're hitting the 69 range uh, versus 64. All in all, not that big a difference, I don't think. Um, but I'm interested to see how both of these rolls perform. Uh, so we're going to try them both out and really figure out which one you should be crafting for pvp for pve i think rewind rounds is probably your best bet no matter what uh but for pvp we're gonna be talking rapid hit versus head seeker with our max kind of max range rapid hit roll with a less ability getting that boost from rapid hit and then outbreak perfected uh with a little bit lower just kind of standard range i would say kind of closer to base uh with head seeker so that's what we're gonna be testing out today uh we are gonna be starting with our rapid hit roll bro why does everyone to kill me oh my god get out of here Oh, that guy's sad about it. He's just, he slid out and he knew it was over. <laughs> oh my god. What are the chances of that? Rip. This guy's gonna fly in. He's feeling confident, feeling good. Oh, dude, Nanites went hard right there. The winner's lie, still good. Current base heads. <laughs> that guy was lost in the sauce. Oh, dude, that guy got murked. See, the range feels good there. Nice. Oof. It's gonna sue Breaking Bad. Oh my god, you cried. Nice, Nanites did some work there. Granted, I have no pick up. <laughs> All right, didn't know that was an emo. Okay, just casually just throws that damn knife thing at me. Not bad, not bad. Nice way to end it. Like it. Like it. 
I would say overall, like you definitely notice it just like becomes like a laser beam the more you hit those shots. And I feel like flinch is basically non-existent on this rapid hit roll. Teams. Oh my god. It helps. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I killed that guy. I was already hurt too. Let's go, baby. Let's get teams. This out. I can tighten too. Dude, those nanites nice are awesome. They keep them hurt. Please. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know, but that adept crunch trap supremes got fried. Oh, okay. I don't know how I even hit that last one. Easy peasy. That was good. I'll get redemption. Yep. Nanites going hard. Cool. challenge this but I'm not going to. Yes I am. <laughs> That's <what> I get. <laughs> Rip. Nice. I'll say breaking down the two rolls, honestly, I really enjoyed them both. I think having that little bit of extra range on the rapid hit roll was kind of nice. Like, I don't know if it was super noticeable. Uh, however, when I did switch my head seeker roll, the games also got way sweatier. I also did know the incre notice the increase the precision damage uh, at points when I would hit those body shots, which was nice with Headseeker. So there were also times with the Headseeker roll, I felt like I'd really melt people. So I think between these both, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. Uh, I didn't really notice the stability difference on the full the max range roll because of rapid hit. Uh, but I think depending on the map, depending on the players, overall. I don't know, guys, it's really close between the two. Uh, I don't know if I could really choose one. If I had to choose one, just like overall, I personally might go with the rapid hit roll because I don't really have any issues hitting my shots, at least for the most part, uh, <laughs> maybe not always. And, but so that makes rapid hit really appealing to me because of that increased reload speed uh, and that those boost that boost of stability you get. 
Uh, however, Rapid Hit, I mean, Head Seeker also felt really, really good. Um, and I also could see the benefits there. I don't, I just wish I could have like the best of both worlds. I wish I got a Rapid Hit, rapid hit Head Seeker. No, that would be sick. Uh, but overall, I think Head Seeker is still definitely worth it uh, to grind out, you know, before the final shape launches uh, next reset. So either way, you're going to be uh, pretty well off with between, between both of these. The one thing I would say is fitted stock, in my opinion, is going to be the best stock for whatever role you decide to craft. Um, but either way, between Head Seeker and Rapid Hit, you're going to be in great shape. But I could see for people that are a little bit worried about hitting their shots or they want that additional forgiveness, Head Seeker could be the better choice.